hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can sell your dog's coin or your dog's token on bitget p2p trading so that you can be able to get your money or withdraw your money into your bank account p2p trading on bitget will enable you to sell your dog's token and then receive the equivalent in your local currency directly into your bank account so guys i'm going to be showing you guys how you can do it and it's very easy to do just make sure you hang on to the end of this video to get it all and also if this video is helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment as that will help grow this channel so guys let's get started so guys in my previous video i received so many comments that i should make a video on how to do p2p trading on bitget so that's the reason i'm actually making this video right now in my previous video i showed you guys where you can find your dog's token or your dog's coin once it has been distributed on the listing day to everyone and most importantly i showed you guys how you can convert your dog's coin or your dog's token to usdt on the spot trading platform on bitget so guys in this particular video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can sell your usdt on bitget p2p trading so that you can be able to withdraw it into your bank account and also guys don't forget i showed you guys in my previous video how you can convert your dog's token or your dog's coin to usdt so in this video i'll not be showing you guys that because i don't want this video to be too long so if you missed my previous video i would encourage you to go and watch it there's a lot you can get from that video so what you will do is that after you're done watching this video just go over to the description of this video i'm going to be leaving the links to the video that will show you guys how you can actually convert your dog's coin to usdt so guys after you're done watching this video just do that and if you do that you will then learn how to actually sell and convert your dog's coin to usdt which is a stable coin that represents the dollar in the crypto market so guys let me begin from where i stopped in my last video so guys in my previous video i told you that for you to be able to sell your dog's coin and get the equivalent of your local currency into your bank account what you have to do first of all is to convert your dog's coin to usdt and from there you have to sell your usdt in the p2p market and for you to actually sell your usdt in the p2p market on bitget you have to make sure that you yeah you have to make sure that your usdt is on your spot trading account so guys now let me show you guys where you can find your spot trading account once dog's coin is being distributed your dog's coin is going to go over to your spot trading account so guys now what you have to do next to tap on your assets so let me tap on it so guys now what you have to do next nice to tap on where you can see spots you can see spots there at the top let me tap on it so guys now the next step you have to take now is to make sure you tap on assets as you can see the asset is selected and after that what you have to do now is to look for your dog's coin so guys now you can see the dog's coin right there but in case you can't see your tap on the search icon then you search for dogs so guys now you can see dogs right here so once the dogs is being distributed you will find it right here and also once you convert your dogs to usdt you will also find your usdt right here so guys once you convert your dog's token to usdt you will also find your usdt right here you will see your usdt balance right here so let me see your dog's coin you can see that my dog's balance is 22,271 dogs coin so if i convert it now let me say i converted it to um 50 usdt you're going to see that 50 usdt is going to be here while my dogs coin is going to be zero zero so if i convert on my dogs coin my usdt balance will increase by 50 usdt while my dogs balance will be zero zero so guys that's how it works so guys now once your usdt is in this spot trading account they can go ahead now to do your p2p Remember I said for you to be able to carry out P2P trading on BitGet, your USDT must be in your spot trading account. As you can see there at the top, spot is actually chosen. Yes, my spot trading account. So guys, now the next step now you have to take now is to go over to P2P. So guys, now I will show you guys how you can actually start your P2P. So let me go now to my home page. So guys, now there are two routes that you can follow to actually start your P2P. So guys, now let me show you guys the first method, the first route. So guys, now for the first route, what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see more. You can see the more icon there at the right hand. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now what you have to do next now is to tap on where you can see P2P. You can see there on the left hand side, the arrow is pointing at it. So guys, let me tap on it already. So guys, now this way you can do your P2P trading. You can see where the arrow is pointing at P2P. So guys, now this way you can do it. So guys, now let me go back now to show you guys the second route that you can follow to actually come over to this place. So guys, let me go back now. Let me go over to my home page. Let me tap on home so guys now you can see i'm back to my home page now so guys now the second route what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see that menu icon at the top left corner you can see the arrow pointing at it so let me tap on it already so guys what you have to do next now is to scroll downward so let me scroll downward so guys now you can see the p2p icon right there you can see where it is written p2p what you have to do now is to tap on it so guys let me tap on it already 
So guys, now you can see it has brought us back to this same place, which is P2P trading platform. So guys, now you can see it there, P2P. So guys, now let me go ahead now to show you guys how you can actually sell your USDT. Remember, I told you guys you must convert your Dogs coin to USDT before you can be able to actually trade it here on P2P. So if you have not watched the previous video I made on that topic, make sure you watch that so you can get to know what to do next. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to tap on sell. You can see that in circuit area right there, you can see. You can see on P2P, you can actually buy and sell, but this tutorial is about how to sell USDT. So guys, now let me tap on sell, you can see the arrow pointing at it. So guys, now the next thing you have to take note of is the Nigerian Naira at the top. You can see my currency there. So in case you're from any other country or any other African country, what you have to do now is to go over there, tap on it. Let me tap on it so you can actually get to see your own currency, your local currency, the local currency of your country. You can see there are so many currencies right here. So what you have to do now is to search out the currency of your country. So if you're from any other country, don't get perplexed. They are all the same thing. Just follow through. They all have the same step. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to select the crypto USDT. As you can see there, BTC is already selected, so you have to change it to USDT. So guys, let me tap on it now to change it. You can see that drop down icon next to the BTC. So let me tap on it already. So guys, now you can see the list of cryptocurrency that you can actually sell. So guys, now let me tap on the first option, which is USDT. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see USDT has been selected. So we can go ahead now to sell our USDT on this P2P BitGet account. So guys, now if you look downwards now, you're going to see the list of buyers that we have. You can see they are also called merchants or advertisers. So these are the persons that want to actually buy your USDT. So they are actually here to buy your USDT. Remember, you want to sell your USDT. So guys, what you have to do now is to look for the advertiser that you want to sell it to. You can see there are so many of them right here. And so guys, let me show you guys the things that you need to know about these advertisers. So guys, now we'll show you guys how you can pick the best advertiser for yourself. The best advertiser that will suit the kind of transaction that you want to carry out. Because you can't actually meet the criteria criteria of all these buyers and merchants right here there are criteria you must actually meet for you to be able to do business with any of these merchants or buyers right here so guys now let me show you guys something you need to know so guys now you can see this first buyer right here you can see the price the person is going to buy your usdt so guys now for one usdt the person is going to pay you 1603 naira so guys now you can see it and also if you look at the second buyer the price is actually different you can see the second buyer where the arrow is pointing at the person is going to pay you 1602 naira 0.73 for your one usdt so guys now you can see they have different prices for each buyer so guys what you have to do now is to select the one that you actually want so guys now let's go back to the second thing you need to take note of you can see where it is written quantity you can see the quantity of usdt that this buyer actually has you can see it over 53 000 usdt so guys now let's go back to the next one which is limit which is the most important one so guys now you can see the limit the limit of this buyer is from 1.2 million to 75 million naira so anybody who wants to do business with this buyer must have USDT that is worth over 1.2 million to 75 million Naira. So if the worth of the USDT that you want to sell to this buyer is not up to 1.2 million Naira, it is not going to work. You can't do business with this buyer. So you must have USDT that is equivalent to 1.2 million Naira. So guys, now let's go back to the second buyer right here. You can see the limit of the second buyer. The limit is from 500,000 to 75 million Naira. So guys, now you can see if you have USDT that is worth 500,000, you can actually do business with this buyer. You can actually sell. If you have anything less than 500,000, you can't do business with this buyer. This buyer will buy from those whose amount of USDT is up to 500,000 and above. So guys, in this video today, I will show you guys how you can actually get buyers that you can actually sell your USDT even if the USDT is like 10 USDT. So guys, now let's see for instance, after you converted your Dogs coin to USDT, it amounted to like 50 USDT. So if you have 50 USDT in your BitGet account, that will translate to about 75,000 Naira. So if you convert your 50 USDT to Naira, based on the current price, it's going to give you about 75,000 Naira. Remember, the price of USDT is between 1,500 to 1,600. You can see it here, almost all buyers are selling at 1,600. So guys, if you have 50 USDT and the worth of that 50 USDT is 75,000 Naira, that means you have to look for a buyer that is ready to do business with you at that level, the level of 75,000. There are buyers that can actually do business for 50,000, even 10,000, 5,000. So guys, I will show you guys how you can actually find those buyers. So guys, now let me show you guys how you can actually filter these buyers and merchants so that you can be able to choose the kind of transaction that you want to carry out. So guys, now you can see where it is written merchants at the top. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. What you have to do now is to toggle it on so that you're going to have legible merchants right here. So guys, let me tap on it now. So guys, now you can see these are the merchants that we have right here. So guys, now what you have to do next now is to tap on where you can see method. 
can see where the arrow is pointing at the method is the payment method that you actually want so let me tap on it let me select my payment method so guys now you can see all is selected so what you have to do now is to tap on bank transfer because we actually want to receive our money in our bank account we want the buyers to actually send our money into our bank account directly so guys now let me tap on bank transfer this bank transfers cover for all type of commercial bank like uba united bank of africa first bank echo bank and the rest of them assets bank so guys it covers for that so guys now the next thing you have to check out now is the limit which is the most important one you have to look for buyers that will actually fall within the limit of the transaction that you want to make remember the instance i gave 50 usdt which will actually amount to 75,000. so we're looking for buyers that will do business around 75,000. so let me tap on limits so guys now what you have to do now is to type in the amount so you want um buyers that will do business with you at the rate of 75,000 at the level of 75,000. so let me just impute 50,000 because anyone who wants to do business with you at the level of 75,000 can also do business with you at the level of 50,000. so guys, let me tap 50,000. let me tap confirm so guys now you can see it's loading let's just wait so guys now you can see these are the buyers that can actually do business with you at the level of 50,000 Naira. You can see the first buyer right there. You can see that his limit is from 50k to 3 million Naira and above. You can also see the second buyer right there. The limit is from 50k to 3 million Naira above as well. So guys you can see them right here. You can just keep scrolling down. You're going to see so many buyers and advertisers that is ready to do business with you at the level of 50k. So guys now you can see this buyer right here. You can see the limit of this buyer is from 15,000 Naira to 500,000 era so guys now with this buyer if you have usdt that is worth 15,000 to 500,000 you can go ahead to do business with this person you can also see the one at the top 20,000 to 800,000 so if you have usdt that is worth 20,000 you can do business with that person let me scroll down you can even find lesser you can see 10,000 right here 10,000 to 480,000 you can see there so if your usdt is worth 10,000 you can do business with this buyer right here so guys now once you're done with this now what you have to do now is to actually select the buyer and i will show you guys how you can actually select an authentic and legitimate buyer so guys now let me show you guys how you can do that let me just go to the top so guys now let's talk about this first buyer you can see the name Porsche P so guys now let me show you guys how you can actually scrutinize all this buyer so guys now you can see on this right hand side the arrow is pointing at it that encircled area so guys now you can see that this buyer has done over 2200 orders that means he has done businesses with 2200 percent so guys now you can see the rate the success rate 100 percent that means people are actually saying good things about the person and you can see that the person is online so guys now for you to deep dive into this buyer so that you can be able to know them more what you have to do is to tap on their name so guys now let me tap on their name right away let me tap on this posh pay i think it's push pay not posh pay push push pay <laughs> whichever one so it's push pay so guys now you can see you can see more details about this buyer now you can see the person's identity is verified you can see it at the top the email is also verified which is a good thing and the phone number is verified so guys now you can see these are more details that you need to check out whenever you want to actually do business with any buyer so guys now you can see the merchant info you can see this buyer has done over 4,000 trades and in that trade he has done over 3,000 buy orders then he has done over 1,300 sell orders so guys now you can see this is a huge one with this type of statistic you can be sure that this trader this buyer is actually top notch so guys now you can see the completion rate 100 percent that means he actually delivered in all the orders that was made of him so guys you can see 100 percent is actually a good thing in the last 30 days trading data he has actually delivered he has actually completed all the trade and others people are actually making or offering on him so guys now let me go back now let me go back now so guys now after you're done checking all of this information the next thing you have to do now is to select the buyer that you actually want to sell your USDT to so guys now for you to actually sell now what you have to do now is to tap on sell you can see where the sell is the arrow is pointing at it so whichever buyer that you've selected what you have to do now is to tap on sell so guys now let me use this first person as an example so let me tap on sell right away you can see that the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now this way you're going to be able to sell your USDT. So guys now the next step you have to take now is actually to impute the amount of USDT that you want to sell. So guys now you can see where the arrow is pointing at. That's where you can impute it. So what you have to do now is to tap on it. So let me tap on it. Then let me say, uh, let me impute 50. So guys now you can see I can't impute 50 because the balance of my USDT is zero. So guys can see so i can't impute 50. so guys what you have to do now is to impute the quantity of usdt that you want to sell once you impute it you're going to be seeing the amount you're going to receive in nera down there you can see where the arrow is pointing at once you impute 50 usdt it's going to be converted based on the rate the buyer is actually buying from you 
if the buyer is buying at the rate of 1 C, so you're going to do 1600 times 50. So whatever it comes out is going to be what is going to be paying you in Naira. You can see it there. So guys, now after you've repeated the quantity, what you have to do now is actually to choose your payment method. So guys, now you can see my payment method is already chosen. You can see bank transfer. So guys, now let me tap on that drop down icon to show you guys something. Let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see what's written here, bank transfer. You can see my bank details. I've already added my bank details to my BitGet account. I've linked my bank details to my BitGet account. So guys, if you have not done that and you don't know how to do that, you don't need to bother yourself. I've already made a video on that. What you have to do is that after you're done watching this video, go over to the description. I'm going to to be leaving the link to the video that will teach you how you can actually add your bank account to your bitget account how you can actually link your bank account to your bitget account so guys i will leave the link there tap on it they'll be able to learn and watch it so guys now you can see i have just one bank account right here but you can actually add multiple accounts multiple bank accounts you can link multiple bank accounts to your bitget account but i have just one that's why it's actually selected automatically so guys now let me go back now to show you guys the next thing so guys, once you're done imputing the amount of USDT that you want to sell and you've confirmed your payment method, what you have to do right away now is to tap on where you can see sell USDT with zero fees. So guys, now you can see it. So guys, now if I tap on it now, you're going to see what is going to pop out. Let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see they said minimum is 31 USDT. So I've not imputed any USDT. That's why I can actually proceed with selling my USDT. And that 31 USDT minimum that popped out is based on the limit of this particular buyer. For some buyer is going to be higher, while for some buyer is going to be lower, even lower than 5 USDT minimum. And also guys, there is something I missed out. You can see where it is written, pay within, pay within 60 minutes. That means that in 60 minutes after you tap on sell USDT, you're going to get your money in your bank account. In 60 minutes, this buyer should be able to complete the transaction, should be able to attend to your order. So once you place your order in 60 minutes, this buyer will be able to send the money into your bank account. You should be able to receive it because that's what that means. And one thing you also have to know is that every buyer and every merchant have different time duration have different pay time some persons might be 60 minutes some persons might be 15 minutes depending on the person how fast the person can be so guys since i can't impute the quantity of usdt i want to sell since my balance is zero usdt what i'm going to do is that i'm going to improvise i'm going to be using screenshots of previous transactions carried out on bitget the screenshots are from recent transaction on how to actually sell your usdt on bitget so guys now i'm going to continue this tutorial using some screenshots that i've actually gotten so guys i have some comprehensive list of screenshots that is going to take us through this process from this point so guys now let me show you guys the next step you're going to see once you tap on sell usdt with zero fees let me show you guys right now so guys now you can see it so guys now let me start with this first screenshot you can see for this screenshot right here the amount of usdt imputed is 20 so you can see the equivalent there in the nigerian naira you can see 20 dollars the person will be receiving 31,000 naira you can see there 31,700 naira so guys now this is how you're going to see it once you impute your usdt you're going to see the equivalent there in the nigerian naira that you're going to be receiving in your bank account because once you've done this now what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see sell usdt with zero fee so guys now once you tap on it let me get to show you guys the next page you're going to see let me show you guys the next screenshot so guys now this is the next page you're going to see this is the next screenshot you can see what's written there order generated pending payment so guys now this is the order you generated so guys now you can see the details of the order you can see there the trading amount is 31,709 naira. that means that's what you're going to be receiving in your bank account you can see the price the price of one usdt is 1585 naira. you can see there so for one usdt you are actually selling you're getting 1585 naira. you can see the quantity of usdt you're selling 20 usdt like i showed you guys in the former slide in the former screenshot you can see the payment method is bank transfer so you're going to be receiving the money through bank transfer so guys now you can see the order number you can see there and the other time you can see the date and the time you actually tapped on sale immediately tap on sale the other time and the date will be recorded so guys now like i said this is the order so what you have to do now is to wait for the buyer to actually send you the money into your bank account and you can see the time you have to wait for this buyer you have to wait for like 15 minutes before you can be able to get your money into your bank account you can see what's written there at the top you should receive funds within 14 minutes 57 seconds so guys that's a countdown time it begins from 15 minutes so the countdown time begins from 15 minutes is going to be going down till it gets to zero so guys what you have to do now is to wait for 15 minutes for this buyer to actually send you your money so guys now while you wait for this buyer to actually send your money into your bank account you can actually contact and chat with this buyer so guys for you to do that what you have to do is to tap on where you can see contact 
you can see there the arrow is pointing at it once you tap on it you're going to be able to send a message to the buyers so guys now let me show you guys what you're going to see once you tap on contact let me show you guys let me go over to the next screenshot so guys now this is the next page you're going to see this is the next screenshot you can see here you can actually chat the person you can see the person has actually sent a message that i have made the payment you can see it so you can actually send your own message as well you can send message like uh, make your payment or you can also send your phone number in case the person wants to chat you privately maybe on whatsapp or maybe call you so you can do those things right here so guys now you can see from this chart you can see that the buyer is saying i have made the payment that means the buyer have actually sent the money into your bank account but you have to confirm that before you actually release your coin before you actually release the usdt to the buyer so guys this is something you have to take note of until you have confirmed the money in your account the buyer will not be able to receive the usdt into his account so guys you have to release the coin after the person has sent the money into your account for the person to receive the coin in his or her bitget account so guys that's how it works so guys now what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see release coin but don't tap on release coin you have to first of all confirm that in your bank app in your bank mobile app see that you've seen the credit alert before you go ahead to tap on release coin so guys now let me go over to the next screenshot now to show you guys where i confirmed the payment from this buyer let me go now let me go over to it so guys now you can see the screenshot of the credit alert you can see that the buyer has actually sent the money into the bank account you can see the amount there 31,709 naira, which is exactly the amount that i sold the usdc for so guys you can see there so guys now after you've confirmed this what you have to do now is to go and tap on that release now so guys now let me go back now to the previous screenshot where we can tap on the release now so that the buyer can actually get his or her usdt into her account so guys let me go back now so guys now you can see this is the page where you have to tap on release coin you can see there at the top so guys what you have to do now after confirming the payment is to tap on release coin so guys now what you have to do is to tap on it so guys let me show you guys the next page you're going to see once you tap on this release coin let me show you guys now so guys now this is a screenshot of the next page you're going to see once you tap on release coin so guys what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see release you can see it down there again you have to tap on release so after you tap on release let me show you guys the next page you're going to see let me show you guys the screenshot of the next page real quick so guys now you can see this is the screenshot of the next page you're going to see once you tap on release you can see what's written there security verification so bitgates wants to confirm that you're actually the one actually carrying out this transaction in this account they want to be sure that you're the owner of this account so they are going to send codes to your email address and also your mobile phone you can see their email verification and mobile phone so guys what you have to do is to go over to your email address go over to the inbox and get the code that will be sent into your email and also the one that will be sent to your phone number sms message so guys once you get the code what you have to do now is to impute it so guys now let me show you guys the screenshot of the code being imputed in these boxes so guys now you can see the codes right here it has been imputed so guys after you're done imputing it what you have to do is to tap on confirm you can see confirm down there the arrow is pointing at it so guys now after that let me show you guys the screenshot of the next page you're going to see after you tap on confirm let me show you guys right now so guys now you can see the screenshot you're going to see this is the next page you're going to see after you tap on confirm you can see what's written there at the top completed successfully sold 20 usdt so as now you can see this is the receipt of the completed transaction so by now now the buyer that bought that 20 usdt must have seen the 20 usdt reflected in his or account and also in your account right here you're going to see that 20 usdt has been deducted from your account but what you're going to get is that you're going to get the payment in your bank account you're going to get the remnants in your bank account so guys what you have to do next is to tap on view asset once you tap on view asset you're going to go over to your spot trading account here you can find your list of cryptocurrencies so guys now let me show you guys what you're going to see once you tap on view asset let me show you guys where it's going to take you to so guys once you tap on view asset my asset this is where it's going to bring it to you can see this is the asset page you can see where the arrow is pointing at so what you're going to do now is to look out for your usdt you're going to see that your usdt must have been deducted the amount must have reduced you can see there you can see where you're going to see the amount you can see where the arrow is pointing at though i have zero usdt right there but if you sold or let me say you have 100 usdt and you sold 50 usdt what is going to be remaining here in your usdt amount is just 50 because you sold out 50 but the good thing is that your bank account must have increased in size so guys, that's the good thing so guys now i've been able now to show you guys how you can actually sell your usdt on p2p i show you guys how you can actually go from converting your dog coin to usdt then selling your usdt on p2p then getting a bank transfer in your local currency into your account so guys now i've been able now to show you guys this and i believe you got value from this if this was helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment see you in the next upload bye Peace.